What's up, YouTube? Another video for my channel. And yes, cars ready to spring adventures. And you might remember that last time, well, the last videos we did Tractor, and then Lizzie, and then after Lizzie we did Flo, and now we're gonna do Luigi. And this is the. Um, we go to activities and take care of Luigi's activity, which is this one. There you are! Yeah! Hey, Luigi! I have been looking everywhere for you. The store opens in a very short time, and we still have to organize the new tires before the customers get here. Okay! Can you really get all those tires stacked that fast? Oh, well, if anyone can, it's Guido. Guido, the customers! They're coming! Si, si! Faccio subito! Yes, I gotta see. Move Guido back and forth to catch the tires. Press and hold the mouse button to turn Guido from side to side. Remember, don't catch anything that isn't a tire. And watch out, if you let go of the mouse button too soon, Guido will drop the tire. Once again, we need a, a score that's beatable. And, well, I have only tried this game like a a preview because this was this is a full version that I didn't have a, when I was a child and once again the, I didn't have the lazy activity either but what I'm trying to do is let go as many tires as possible to get the score as low as possible while still completing the game Here you see we have 300 points at the end of the level, and well, I know that it's the end of the level because I'm recording it in uh, after playing it. Mm, once again, we don't really have to trust. Uh, I, we, I don't. I can't trust my intakes right now because it's not like I know this game from from an early age, like. Like I know other games, like um, the Sergeant's okay. Boot Camp Fill or Up. But now that I have this one, I did a rehearsal beforehand, and I know that letting go of the tires will cost you some points, and that's exactly why I'm letting go of some tires. Because we have, okay. we need to have a score as low as possible while still completing the game successfully. Now, of course, this is a very risky movement because it could also mean that you could uh, lose the level. Yeah, it's a little difficult to. There you see me doing, letting go of. At least, well, I'd let go of one tire. I let go another, of another tire. Okay. And I, as much as possible, I avoid those uh, wrenches because they will give me 100 points. And then again, yes, we need a score as low as possible. So. But we still want to complete the game, you know every single one of the tires. Well, not every single one, but as many as possible. It's level 4. And once again, we let go of some tires. But if you notice, they're getting faster and faster. Once again, one and one less life to care about, so we one tire we can let go off. But then again, this is also a very risky proposition. You know, at the moment I am. At 
At the moment of doing all this, it is getting very difficult and you don't want to know how difficult it is in level 5. Well, you will know in just a second. Level 4 finished. Now we have to do level 5. Oh, I wrench. Let go of some of the tiles again because we need to have a score that we can beat later. But it can fail at times. There you see that some of the things that get dropped aren't tires and we don't we don't want to catch anything more than the tires. When this level I well I'm actually I will actually lose because uh, if you notice it's difficult to know what Luigi is dropping when he's dropping it from behind the stack of the stack of wheels. And you also need to have very fast reaction times. Which is exactly what I didn't have now, so we have to try again. And here we want to... to do it in the nick of time. Well, not in the nick of time, but in the nick of score. Where the, where the fuel gauge is in just one... one which, which is, we want to have one... One fuel left. That way we dropped as many points as we could. So we can beat our score later. And not grab those wrenches because that would make us gain points that we don't want. And at the early levels, that's a safe bet. But at later levels, it is more risky, which is why I'm letting go of the tires now and not grabbing the wrenches. But you'll see that in future levels, I'm not gonna do that. Okay! Once again, a box that we don't want to catch. And it's nice that we have a margin of error. Because that way, even if the tie doesn't... doesn't get exactly on the blades... On her, it doesn't fall exactly on Guido's blades... We will still catch it. Do it in a real scenario with a... The real, um, I don't know how those things are called. Um, but, yeah. Too late to catch the, the fuel, so, yeah. Level 3 does get difficult because, you know, we need a better reaction time. We have an opportunity to let go of one tire to lose some score. Here you see that I'm catching the tires almost in the nick of time, or noticing that there are no tires in the nick of time. And... What? Level 4, and we did catch a wrench, so that's... Gonna, that's not gonna be good for later. The toolbox. So we're letting go of some of the tires. Well, one tire, but not many, because... It's not like we can 
trust that this will be fail safe. We need good reaction times. It gets difficult, you know? One fuel is one more opportunity to lose a tire. But we may or may not want to actually lose it. Since this is a very difficult level, let alone level 5. Nivel Well, we did it. Listos? And that way, well, in this one, we don't want to lose any tires because it's not safe. It's not a safe bet. We can lose a level as we did last time. And once again, make sure that everything that we catch is tires, not branches or boxes. It's not an easy thing to do, but... I think I'm ma well, I'm managing. Nothing those plates are aligned. The target go behind the headlight or something. Don't really know. What I do know is this. Well, we need to. Well. We can't risk failing this level. I mean, we have at least a few lives to spare. We haven't failed yet. And a wrench. Remember, the more wrenches we get, the harder it, is, it will be to beat the score later. And that's why I'm trying to, you know, avoid the wrenches. We finished with a score of 4750. Okay. And as for the procedure when the, for the races, you know the drill, so we're going to skip that. So. We're going to start with a beatable time. And the time is 13.59. Okay, it's a time that can be beaten. And that's what we're going to do now. One, two, three, four, and five for a total time of 13.29. Not bad. And well, we can now go to, to, you know, the photo options. Once again, we don't have any skins unlocked, but we have unlocked this one, and we have unlocked Luigi. Take your screenshots if you want. Have you done your screenshots? Done your screenshots, thank you. And well, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.